In this video, we're gonna learn the song Tequila. It's so cool, it's so fun, and actually, it's not that hard. So we're going to divide the video into three parts. The intro, the first part of the song, and the second part of the song. So we have eight bars here, right really really cool groove okay and then after those eight bars you're gonna hear symbols coming in okay and that's your cue for the next block of eight bars okay two blocks of eight bars and we're coming in on the very last bit of the eighth bar make sense so check it out Everything tends to be really short. You're not really gonna play. It'll be too nice. It doesn't apply for this particular thing, okay? In terms of rhythm, it's very simple because it's just basically the same thing repeated a few times with a little few variations in there. This first part here, okay, is just quarter note, two eighth notes, quarter note, two eighth notes. Da, 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 da. Two, three, four. Ba, 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 ba. One, two, three, four. You want to figure out the rhythm first, and then you apply the saxophone. Make sense? You want to make sure that you know exactly where the beats are. So we have beat one here, two, three, and four. You want to be able to see exactly where the beats fall, so everything else will be <clears throat> will be fine. Okay. Now this rhythm here only appears on that bar there and also on this bar here. Then we have a little variation on that which we can put this in pink and it will be happening more often in the other bars. Now the beginning is actually exactly exactly the same, okay? So if you look at the beats one, two, three and four. So beats one and two, but dun do do quarter note two eighth notes exactly the same as as the previous one, right? So, boom, exactly the same, okay? The only thing that changes is the second part, this part here, okay? Which is a syncopation, okay? We're gonna go into that in a second, okay? So this is exactly what we have in that bar and we're gonna break it down together. So we said that the first part is identical to what we had before, so we can kind of ignore it for now, okay? We don't really care so much, so actually, let's delete that, okay? Now, beats three and four are the ones that are giving us a little bit of trouble. We wanna figure them out properly, okay? So this cell here is like, oh, what, what, what's happening here? Why is it like so messy, okay? Let's check it out together, okay? What about if we think of another way of writing this same rhythm, okay? What about if we do this? So that note will stay as an eighth note and that's okay. Now the next quarter note, can we split that into something else. Think about it. Obviously, we can split it like this into two other eighth notes, right? And then the last one will be another eighth note, okay? So this essentially is just a sequence of eighth notes. One and two and three and four and, in this case, three and four and. Make sense? So three and we can say three and four and. I also like to call this pizzas. P, sa, p, sa. Just a bunch of pizzas. Pizza, pizza. Make sense? Okay. So what they did is they added a little tie to it. Okay. Pizza, sa. Three and, and. Make sense? Okay. So, and a more pleasing way to the eye of writing this is that one there. Make sense? So, when we write it like this, we can actually see where the beats fall. They fall where? They fall on three here, and they fall on four, exactly here. Make sense? So that's why that quarter note there, right? That quarter note there is just before the four, okay? So this is really important when you play. Now the second part is actually 
the same thing. The only thing that changes is the growl. Okay, so we have a growling part all the way up to here. I'm not the best at growling, but I'll show you. So in, in the last part of that uh, section will be just basically exactly the same as we did it before. So in order to growl, you basically do this. <laughs> it's like, you know, when you're about to spit. <sighs> and you try to make your throat here uh, vibrate like that. <sighs> it's disgusting. But that's how it is. As I said, I'm not the best at growling. And you will feel that your, your face will vibrate like this, okay? There's people who can actually flutter tongue and achieve the same effect. I'm not able to do that. I can do it without the saxophone, but as soon as I put it in my mouth, I cannot do it, okay? So I always growl like this. Okay, it's a bit annoying, uh, but you just need to practice it a little bit. I don't practice it ever, um, so it's not it's not the best, but whatever, it kind of works, okay? Now the B part is when we have longer notes and it's completely different than what we played so far. So a very important thing here is the character, is the mood that you give into, into this B part. But you want to be really aggressive, you want to be really, you know, passionate. But you don't play like... Completely plain has to say something, okay? So, and at the end, a big explosion of sound, okay? Now, in terms of rhythm, in, in this case, we have one, two, three, and four, okay? One, two, okay? So, make sure that you come in right in that part. One, two, one, ba, ba, da, ba. okay? Don't come in too early, don't come in too late. One, two, three, ba, da, ba, ba. okay? If you're having troubles with that little entrance, what you can do is you can duplicate the first note like this. So you go one, two, ba, 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 da, ba. one, two. And then when you're ready, you take it out and you will see that you'll be much, much better and more precise, okay? Now, when we get to this part, if you can do vibrato, you have control of this, awesome. If it's too early for you, completely ignore it and just play a really powerful note. Okay. If you have a good stable note, awesome, okay? Don't mess around with vibrato if you don't have it yet, okay? The last part, can kind of mess you up in a way, okay? So, in order to get the rhythm right, what I will suggest is take the tie out. So one, two, three, ba ba. One, two, three, four, and, okay? So we have one, two, three, and four, okay? That comes on the fourth beat, okay? When we have a tie, everything can be messed up. So in order to be really accurate with our rhythm, take it out and do a one, two, three, ba ba. And actually, you know, we can say, Tongue, tongue that note on purpose, okay? And that will be exactly the same for every single bit that you find. So it will be exactly the same here and exactly the same over here, okay? Now, the very last note of that part is we have this note with a fall. You can download the score for alto or for tenor, so you can play along with a backing track or with the original, okay? Now, in this case, we're gonna have a fall happening here, okay? Now. The way you do a fall is by mixing up your embouchure and your fingers. And this is what I mean. You actually drop your embouchure really, really quick. And at that time, you kind of release your fingers, okay? This is just using my embouchure, okay? And then if I combine that with my fingers, make sense? Okay, if I take my embouchure out and I just use my fingers, and if I combine the two, okay, in this case it's really quick, so even if you just do fingers, it will actually happen, okay, but don't do it for too long, because if you do it for too long, then you're going to be late for, for that part there, make sense? So, okay, so I would actually practice it first without the fall, without anything, so you make sure that you are properly in timing there, 
and then you add everything else in there. Okay. Then the very last part. This is very very straightforward here. Okay. It's just a bunch of eighth notes, and we can say one, two, three. And four. It's always good to put where the beats are so you actually can see where everything fits. Okay, so in this case, we have two pizzas if we can say that P, Tsa, P, Tsa, right? Or, or is one and two, and if you prefer it that way, okay? And then quarter note and quarter note. Okay, <clears throat> make sure that these notes here. Three and four are really, really short. Okay, the one and two, you just taunt them. He doesn't do them so short. That would be too much. Okay, so it's just like normal tonguing in there. Okay, and then you just end here with a really nice um, note in there. And that's all. Okay, so that's basically the whole, the whole piece. It's so much fun, it's so much fun, but you wanna take care of every single bit, every single component, and make sure that you actually understand how the rhythms work in there, and once you have it, man, it's just, you're gonna be awesome, okay? If you have any questions, just let me know here below in the comments, and if you wanna improve your sound and your technique, and you wanna know more, I have free eBooks that you can download here below in the description, and also, my mentorship program is reopening soon, and you can apply right now, the link also is here below in the description, and that will tell you more about what the mentorship program is. It's a one-year program in which I will guide you by the hand like this and then tell you exactly what to do on every single step of the process so you don't miss anything, you don't waste any time and you actually get to do so much more in a year than you could ever do by yourself by just watching YouTube videos or anything else, okay? So you can apply here below and I will see you soon. Bye-bye! <laughs>